the 2000 NCHA Futurity. I'm here with the Unlimited Amateur Futurity Champion, Rocky Davis. Rocky rode redneck crazy and marked a 219 and a half. Congratulations to you, Rocky. Thank you very much, Mom. How does it feel to be a Will Rogers Champion? <laughs> Unreal feeling. Didn't think it would ever, ever happen. So it's a dream come true, huh? It's, it's a dream. It's everybody's dream, eh? I, I didn't think it would ever come true, but it did. How long have you been cutting? Uh, about eight years now. Uh, okay, that's not too long. Uh, we started up in Canada by accident. I bought a ranch horse that turned out to be a cutting horse. I had done a little bit of ring cow horse, and the guy said, well, this horse to make a cutter. You want to go cutting? I said, okay, we'll go cutting. <laughs> so that's when we started. And you fell in love with it. And I fell in love with it. Got to be a challenge, a big challenge. A lot of people, it takes them a whole lot longer than eight years to win a major title. Uh, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> I don't know. I, just, I thought my progress was slow, but uh, I guess we made it. <laughs> so I, how often would you ride? How many hours a week would you put into it to be able to get to this level? I ride a lot. Um, probably four days a week and not always serious hard riding, but probably four or five hours a day, five days a week, four or five days a week. Okay. Take us through your run today. Uh, well, all, all I wanted to do was cut clean on cows. We knew there was some pretty fast cows in there, but I know I had the horse to handle them. And my whole focus just cut clean get some cows out in the pan away from me and then just not get in that horse's way because I know we can work a cow. Now, you were third last in the final. That's a tough spot. I do, yeah. Yeah, yeah how, how did you go with the cows? Uh, we still take, we, uh, my trainer, Salvador Cabral, is awesome at picking cows. Uh, we've drawn last in a herd many times and he's always found cows at work. He's incredible. And I didn't even question what he was looking at. I said, you find the cows and show me where they are and I'll do my best to cut them. Yeah, sometimes you just got to have faith, don't you? I just, I just had total faith in him. Just let him take care of that. That's what he does the best. Now, tell us about your horse, Redneck Crazy. Great name. How'd you come up with that? I didn't come up with it. He was named. We bought the horse. That was his name. And we even thought about changing the name when we bought him. Eh? But we thought, nah, just leave it. Eh? That's what they named him. And got to be a reason for it. We'll just leave it. So, What sort of personality does he have? He's actually pretty laid back. He's a little bit timid. Uh, he doesn't like to be in a crowd. Doesn't like a lot of action around him. Just likes to be sort of by himself and just left alone. And very gentle horse, very well mannered, very gentle. Okay, so you're up in northern Alberta, you said, is where you're from. How do you go with the winters and trying to ride up there? I come to Texas and ride. <laughs> Good plan. I, yeah, I come down, I come down for the futurity, go home for Christmas, New Year's, then come back and I stay here until spring and summer. Okay, so you can thaw out a bit. Uh, what are your plans now? I uh, haven't got any plans right now. We've got some really big offers on this horse, eh? And I might even retire now. <laughs> like, that must be a good feeling. <laughs> yes. So, but uh, general plans, we're going to do Abilene and maybe one more show and then the Super Stakes. And, but that's the, the general plan right now. Okay. Congratulations. Thank you very much.